Denis Villeneuve has become one of the most in-demand filmmakers working today, and with his most recent film, Dune Part 2, achieving critical and commercial success, the question on the minds of many is what will be the director's next project, and when can we expect his planned adaptation of Dune Messiah? In this video, I'd like to break down all that we know about the multiple projects Denis Villeneuve is attached to, and discuss the potential timeline and latest updates regarding the development and production of Dune 3. Among the upcoming projects that the director is attached to, Villeneuve's planned Cleopatra film has been a topic of significant interest since he first expressed enthusiasm for the project in 2020. In an interview with Montreal outlet TVA, Villeneuve hinted at the potential production timeline of the historical film, stating, "...there is of course the second part of Dune, which I hope I have the chance to shoot eventually." but I also have a historical film project on the life of Cleopatra. This project is underway and it excites me a lot. I hope I can bring it to the screen before or after filming the second part of Dune." At the time of this interview, it's clear that Villeneuve wasn't sure where Cleopatra would fit into his schedule. This was largely due to the fact that the green light from Legendary to move forward in production for Dune Part 2 wasn't officially given until shortly after the first film's release. However, as soon as Doom Part 2 was given the go-ahead, the director quickly pivoted to the second film to conclude his adaptation of Frank Herbert's novel. And Cleopatra continued to sit on the back burner. As the marketing campaign began leading up to the premiere of Doom Part 2, Villeneuve mentioned that he was currently working on the script for Frank Herbert's sequel novel, Dune Messiah. However, he was also quoted saying several times that he would like to take a break from the Duneverse. The director was quoted saying, I don't know exactly when I will go back to Arrakis. I might make a detour before just to go away from the sun. For my mental sanity, I might do something in between, but my dream would be to go a last time on this planet that I love. The Cleopatra film set to be produced by Sony Pictures is based on Stacey Schiff's best-selling book, Cleopatra, A Life, with a screenplay penned by David Scarpa, who recently worked on Ridley Scott's Napoleon. Though this certainly has the potential to be another visually stunning and thematically rich movie, it is not the only one pending in Villeneuve's ever-crowded upcoming filmography. Denis has also been attached to the film adaptation of Arthur C. Clarke's novel Rendezvous with Rama since December 2021. This project, announced in an exclusive by The Hollywood Reporter, would be produced under the banner of Alcon Entertainment, continuing Villeneuve's collaboration with the studio following their previous projects like Prisoners and Blade Runner 2049. The production will also involve Morgan Freeman and Laurie McCreary of Revelations Entertainment, who have shown a long-standing commitment to the novel, having acquired the rights in 2018 after two decades of effort. Rendezvous with Rama tells the story of human space explorers tasked with intercepting an alien starship passing through the solar system, leading to mankind's potential first contact with extraterrestrial intelligence. Considering Villeneuve's rise to become one of the most prolific current sci-fi filmmakers, his adaptation of the beloved Clark novel has become hotly anticipated. Given his penchant for science fiction, it would seem likely that in taking a break from Dune, Rama could be next on his plate. While Villeneuve is working on a screenplay for Dune Messiah, Eric Roth, the acclaimed screenwriter who collaborated with Villeneuve for Dune Part 1, is working with him again on another project. In a report from World of Real, Eric Roth revealed in an interview on the A Script Apart podcast that he has written a screenplay for Villeneuve, saying, quote, I just wrote a movie for Denis Villeneuve. We'll see what ends up happening with it, but it's about space and time, and it's very lonely. It's certainly about eternity. Later, World of Real reached out to Roth to see if he could provide any more details about the secret project, to which the screenwriter responded, "...the title will have to remain a dark star for now. Suffice it to say, at 78, I'm trying to find some answers to the unanswerable." While this certainly sounded as if he was working on the long-gestating Rama project, in an exclusive by World of Real, it was confirmed that this is actually an adaptation of Korean author Bo Young Kim's short story, I'm Waiting For You, a love story set in the future where a man journeys through time and space to reunite with his fiancée, with unforeseen incidents delaying their wedding. 
and if that wasn't enough to fill the director's calendar for the foreseeable future, in April of 2024, it was also announced in an exclusive by Deadline that Denis Villeneuve and Legendary Entertainment had inked a new film deal that would see the director helm an adaptation of Pulitzer Prize finalist Annie Jacobson's non-fiction book, Nuclear War, A Scenario. The book, which recently hit the New York Times bestseller list, explores a ticking clock scenario about what would happen in the event of a nuclear war, based on dozens of exclusive new interviews with military and civilian experts who built the weapons and have been privy to the response plans and have been responsible for those decisions should they need to be made. Deadline also reported that it was their expectation that Villeneuve would take on this project after he completes Dune Messiah. Many took this news to mean that Dune 3 had been greenlit for production and that it was next on the director's docket. However, recent comments from the cast of Dune, as well as from other Hollywood insiders, seem to coincide with Villeneuve's earlier comments of taking a break before diving back into the world of Arrakis. In regards to the progress of Dune 3, as stated before and after the release of Dune Part 2, Villeneuve was still in the process of writing the script, and it appears he is still in the early development stages of writing his screenplay. Recently, Rebecca Ferguson, who played Lady Jessica, spoke about the progress of the film on the Raps Unwrapped podcast. Ferguson said, quote, I don't know anything. I know zero. I don't even know if he has finished the script. I don't even know if I'm in it. I mean, I hope I'm in it. I've got chains and tattoos. I'm awesome. I didn't even know Anya Taylor-Joy was in Doom Part 2 until I saw the film. You have to also remember, nobody has signed on to the third film. That's a big decision. That's a lot of actors in one same movie. So I don't know what they're going to do, where they cut corners. There's a lot to think about. Meanwhile, Anya Taylor-Joy, while promoting her recent Furiosa film in an interview with GQ, revealed she is similarly in the dark with the rest of us when it comes to Dune 3, saying, quote, I'll know when you do. I think we're all really hopeful. It should be noted that CEO of Legendary Entertainment, Josh Grode, spoke to CNBC revealing specific qualifiers for Dune 3 to be greenlit, saying, We have to have all creative stakeholders aligned and support the vision. I think everybody is very excited and really enjoying this moment. And if Denis Villeneuve gets the script right, and he feels that he can deliver another experience on par with what we've just completed, then I don't see why not. It's clear that once Villeneuve has finalized the screenplay and all creative stakeholders are aligned in bringing the Dune director's vision to life, production will officially move forward and begin negotiations with the actors. In the meantime, however, it is still unclear which one of these projects Villeneuve intends to do next. After the announcement of Villeneuve's nuclear war, The Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt, who apparently was privy to some insider information, reported that the director had already decided what his next film would be, that it'll be a smaller movie, and that Dune 3 wasn't happening anytime soon. However, contrary to this, World of Real also reported that Dune 3 is rumored to shoot in 2026. Based on everything we know about Villeneuve's upcoming projects, the timeline for Dune Messiah appears to largely hinge on how long it will take to complete a satisfactory screenplay and whether or not one of these other projects gets a green light for production before that occurs. Considering Villeneuve's sentiments, it certainly seems that his preference will be to step away from the Duneverse for the next couple of years, making a 2026 production schedule quite plausible. Despite the uncertainty stemming from the ongoing development of these various projects, most Dune fans agree that Villeneuve's adaptation of Dune Messiah shouldn't be rushed. Translating Frank Herbert's writings from book to screen have been notoriously challenging in the past, and in order for Dune 3 to be considered a success, great care certainly needs to be taken. Thankfully, the events of Messiah take place some 12 years after the events of Dune, so from a canonical perspective, Volnov and company have plenty of time to make sure that the screenplay is right. But I'm curious to know what you think of the potential timeline for the production of Dune 3. Considering all of Volnov's reported projects, do you feel that a 2026 production window is realistic? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe for more Dune and other sci-fi and fantasy news and lore. And if you're looking for other ways to show your appreciation, you can check out my Patreon page, where members get access to exclusive content and perks. Thank you all so much for your support, and as always, have a very nerdy day.